This is day 15 in the 30 days of code challenge on HackerRank. And today we're going to talk about linked lists. This challenge is about inserting a node at the tail of a linked list. I already have a full tutorial on how to do that in C and C++. So I'm going to link this video in the description of this tutorial. I also have another video where I demonstrate how you can insert a node at the head of a linked list. So I'm going to link that video as well. For this challenge, I'm just going to go through my logic briefly. If you have a function to insert a node at the tail of a linked list, and that function expects two parameters, namely a reference to the head of the list in the form of a node pointer, and the data that you want to insert in the list, you can implement your function like this. Here I'm creating a new node, and I'm passing it the data that I want that node to contain. Now this works here because if you drop down the code that they have, they have a class called nodes to create new nodes in the list and it has a few public member variables. So here it has a data, which is the value that every node contains and every node also has a next pointer. So in this challenge, we are dealing with a singly linked list. In other words, our list can only be traversed in one direction from the head to the tail. Every next pointer here is going to be set to null until we specify the address of the node that it needs to point to. In the constructor of our node class, we get the data that we want our node to have and we assign this d parameter value to our data member variable and then we set our next pointer to null. So when I come here and I create my new node, this node pointer is going to point to a node in memory that contains this data. If our list is empty, then this new node needs to be the new head of the list because it's the only node. Otherwise, I'm going to get a reference to the head of my list and I'm going to traverse my list from the head until the last node. Once I reach the last node, I want to set the next pointer of that last node to the new node that I've just created here, meaning that this new node is now going to be at the tail of my list. When I'm done, I return the head. And this is because when you look at the task here, they say we need to insert a new node in the list and set it at the tail of our list. And then once the new node is added, we need to return the head node reference. So that's it for the code. Let's now run it. We've passed the test case. So I'm now submitting this challenge and we've passed all the test cases. So that's it for the linked list day 15 challenge. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.